Good morning. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I am here at 4415 Clybourne Avenue in Toluca Lake, and I'm in the process of performing a video examination of the main sewer line for James and Ferris Patton. Now, the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focusing on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So, I was unable to locate an exposed or accessible main sewer line cleanout. A main sewer line cleanout is an area outside the structure that has a removable cap that's going to allow direct access down into the upper end of the main sewer pipe, which is typically going to be where the drain system exits the structure, in this case at the front of the house in the planter area. I've already tracked and located that area as we were going through. Currently we are sitting 108 feet in. Uh, I removed the toilet in the hallway bathroom and uh, pushed through that drain line under the house to get outside into the main sewer pipe and then managed to get all the way to the public sewer from there. Uh, we attempted the inspection from the three-inch clean-out at the back of the house. Uh, that's going to add about 65 feet or so. Uh, we couldn't get all the way through from there, which is why we decided to remove the toilet. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the camera off the public sewer, back up under the street, under the property, and then through the line underground into the front yard. Now on the way through, we had quite a bit of water running couldn't see much, so we're seeing this essentially for the first time as we come off the city sewer here. So what we're looking at here is the uh, original vitrified clay piping that comes up under the street towards the house. Now, these vitrified clay pipe materials are very common. This type of piping does have a long service life expectancy. Uh, being a natural material, it's not expected to deteriorate underground like the older, like the other, like metal pipes, uh, iron pipes, things like that. But they are more brittle in nature and do have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity or earthquakes. So we're looking specifically for any areas of significant cracking or breaking, offsetting or separations of the joints. Now we're coming through here a pretty significant root intrusion. These roots are running down the pipe pretty long ways here. There's uh, like you some very thick roots. Or you can see other objects in the line. I'm not sure what they are. But you can see that these roots really limit our ability to accurately see areas of the pipe. More importantly, we're kind of trying to see the joint areas themselves. But these are just very long roots running through here. Root intrusions at the joint areas of these clay pipes is common. And normally we are suggesting that they can be maintained with regular sewer line cleanings. It's when they're left unmaintained for extended periods that they can create blockages in a system and also potentially damage the pipe. I am seeing an object here along the bottom of the pipe, very large in diameter, about the size of a cleaning cable. I can't be positive, but I think that there's a broken off cable in this line as well. Now we're getting back to the area here where our roots are more significant. And you can see the debris build up and uh, the reason why we can't see and why we feel that a uh, thorough cleaning needs to be done for a follow-up examination. Now, in order to perform an effective cleaning, it would be best to install a main sewer line clean-out out the front of the structure, trying to clean through a toilet or a uh, three-inch clean-out at the back of the house, both with the distance you would have to run and the turns you have to go around it does greatly minimize the effectiveness of cleaning. It also minimizes the size of blades you can put through. 
and this blade is a six inch pipe, so you need to be able to get the proper blades through the system to uh, thoroughly clean this line. All right, so we're back up here now, kind of near the uh, edge of the driveway in the front yard, pulling into uh, the original cast iron piping here. This is the original pipe to the property, and uh, it's got some moderate to heavy, and somewhat significant rust and scale build up in it. These cast iron pipes typically were expected to have a sort of service life somewhere in the uh, 70 to 80 year range. It looks like we're definitely somewhere within that window. Got some pretty good deterioration here along the bottom. So basically when we st start seeing a cast iron pipe in this condition, we are suggesting that it is a good idea to go ahead and consider it for upgrade. It's a situation where the line is draining, but uh, it's only a matter of time before it begins to fail. No real way to tell you exactly when that's going to occur. So if you do decide to leave it in service for the time being, we would definitely recommend close monitoring of it. Things like uh, annual video examinations, along with the cleanings of the clay section, so that the entire system can be maintained and monitored. I'm looking for an opening at the top of the pipe that would tell me there's a main clean out. Um, I don't believe there is one due to the structure. Wouldn't necessarily dictate that there would have been one. Outside the building, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video portion of the examination for today. Please do refer to my written report for the final findings and uh, recommendations, including recommendations for installation of a clean out, video of service of the line, and a follow up examination to see the errors limited from view today. This is Mark Harrison of Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day.